Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating and complex legacy of Thomas Midgley Jr., a man whose inventions changed the world, though not always for the better. Thomas Midgley Jr. was an American engineer and chemist born in 1889. Known for his work in the automotive and refrigeration industries, Midgley left an indelible mark on the world, but his story is one of both innovation and unintended consequences. In the 1920s, the automotive industry faced a serious problem, engine knocking, which reduced efficiency and could damage engines. Midgley, working for General Motors, discovered that adding tetraethyl lead to gasoline could solve this issue. Leaded gasoline became a massive commercial success, allowing cars to run more smoothly and efficiently. However, the consequences of this invention were devastating. The widespread use of leaded gasoline led to severe environmental pollution and public health crises. Lead poisoning affected millions, causing cognitive impairments and other serious health issues, especially in children. William Koverick reported in an article, several workers had to be subdued and put into straight jackets. They were black and blue from uncontrolled muscle spasms. They exhibited paranoid and delusional behavior such as cringing from phantoms or snatching at imaginary winged insects. The afflicted workers could be suddenly violent or suicidal. They also had blue lines across their gums, a typical indicator of lead poisoning, but the behavioral symptoms were unlike any presented in previous lead poisoning cases. When a news reporter reached out to Standard Oil for comments, one refinery supervisor famously said, these men probably went insane because they worked too hard. To allay rumors about this new chemical, Midgley himself appeared before a press conference in 1924, where he poured tell over his hands, placed a bottle of the chemical under his nose, and inhaled its fumes for 60 seconds, declaring that he would suffer no ill effects from doing this every day, and blamed the stricken workers for not following safety procedures. In the 1930s, Midgley turned his attention to refrigeration. At the time, refrigerants were toxic and dangerous. He developed Freon, a chlorofluorocarbon, or CFC, that was non-toxic and non-flammable. Freon revolutionized air conditioning and refrigeration, making these technologies safe and widely accessible. But again, the long-term effects were dire. CFCs, including Freon, were later found to be incredibly harmful to the ozone layer, contributing to global warming and creating the infamous ozone hole. Besides, CFCs are greenhouse gases too, and 10,000 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Bill Bryson, in a short history of nearly everything, called it the worst invention of the 20th century. CFC was formally banned after 1987 when diplomats in Montreal forged a treaty, the Montreal Protocol, which called for drastic reductions in the production of CFCs. Many countries agreed to completely eliminate CFCs by the year 2000. Tetrethyl lead was also phased out by the early 2000s by most countries. The last country to sell leaded gasoline is Algeria, which halted sale only very recently in July 2021. Thomas Midgley Jr.'s later years were marked by a tragic irony. After contracting polio, he invented a mechanical bed to assist with his mobility. Sadly, this invention led to his untimely death when he became entangled in its cords. Midgley's life serves as a poignant reminder of the unforeseen consequences of technological advancement. His work brought significant progress, but also left a legacy of environmental and public health challenges. Thomas Midgley Jr.'s story is a powerful example of how innovation can have both positive and negative impacts. It's a call for us to be mindful of the long-term effects of our technological advancements. As we continue to innovate and create, let's strive for solutions that benefit both humanity and our planet. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more thought-provoking stories. Stay curious and see you next time.